These seniors out there who have worked for 30, 40, 50 years and now unfortunately are falling on hard times. Yeah, so these are folks who are 55 plus. They represent our senior community, our boomers, and just falling on hard times, like you said. We are at the Justice Center. That is their exclusive focus. We've moved outside, so they get breakfast inside, and then outside they're allowed to eat their breakfast and then stay warm under some of these tents and the heaters. And really, the center here is bracing for higher numbers going into 2021. Wendy joining us again. Um, we talked a lot about, you know, the tsunami of problems that um, the homeless population faces and COVID on top of it. Mm -hmm. So what is the plan to help these folks with the COVID vaccine? So um, thankfully, uh, the state and the county have classified congregate living as also homelessness. So we're all in group 1B. Um, and we're looking probably right now at the end of January for that rollout. Um, we don't anticipate that everyone will get immunized. Um, again, it's an issue of choice or uh, availability. Um, but so we're going to be reinforcing and maintaining our COVID restrictions here at the center until we see that the, the, the transmission rate is at a level that is safer. And when you hear the numbers, um, the rates rising, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Is it staggering? Are these large figures? It is to me, um, compared to what we saw during this summer, um, when in May the shutdown allowed the, the lack of movement around. And so we, our seniors, the congregate living didn't get exposed. Now we're getting it in waves and, and every time someone who's in and out of this kind of community uh, has a family gathering or whatever. We're putting not just our family at risk, but we're putting the people we serve at risk as we come back in and possibly are asymptomatic positive. How can people help? What do you need? Um, we were overwhelmed with love this year, um, uh, last year. Uh, as we head into this this season, what, what we really need is money. Um, like every other agency, money allows us to make the decision of how to address a need on the spot. We, we always have plenty of incidentals uh, for folks and we are so grateful to our community for that. Um, there isn't a day that someone doesn't drive up and drop something off for us, which is wonderful. Um, we need landlords who are willing to take vouchers and to work with us and groups like us who have seniors who are experiencing homelessness for the first time and need a place to live. Yeah. And just because they have an eviction doesn't make them bad people or bad risk. Yeah, it's important to remember, you know, there are people behind the numbers. So out here, a lot of volunteers, always looking for volunteers, always. again, and donations. They get meals out here, help with documentations, computers, and assistance to find housing to really get them back on that path to finding a home. Yeah, those resources are so important, Jessica. Thank you.